great. So my name is Colleen Meeks. Um, I have a bachelor and master degree in nutrition and health from Wageningen University in the Netherlands. And in January 2013, I started as a PhD student in the Academic Medical Center, University of Amsterdam, at the Department of Public Health. And my PhD is on the RODEM study. RODEM is an acronym for Research on Obesity and Diabetes Among African Migrants. So why African migrants? They're disproportionately affected by both type 2 diabetes and obesity. In a meta-analysis, we saw that uh, African migrants in Europe have about three times more diabetes than Euro European host populations. Um, so within RODAM, we did data collection um, in Ghana, both rural and urban Ghana. And we also did co data collection in, uh, among Ghanaians resident in London, Berlin, and Amsterdam. So uh, we looked at Ghanaians as they're a relatively homogeneous group. About 90% of the Ghanaian migrants in Europe are of uh, a Khan ethnic group. And uh, so that's a specific ethnic group in Ghana where we sampled in, the, um, in, in Ghana and that specific region is where that group is originally from. So this way we look, we're comparing a homogeneous population resident in multiple locations. Um, our aim was to collect a random sample of 1,250 participants per location. And we started data collection in uh, September 2012, and we finished October 2014. And overall, we included about 6,300 participants with some different distributions over the sites. Uh, but overall, about 1,000 participants per location. Um, so what did we do? We did, had extensive general questionnaires where we asked for demographics, migration history, uh, stress. We also had uh, uh, WHO steps in the general questionnaire, so for physical activity. Uh, we had a separate nutrition questionnaire and uh, food frequency questionnaire that was developed for uh, Ghanaians, a Ghana-specific food propensity questionnaire. Um, we had physical exams. So we asked participants to come to a research location and we did uh, measured blood pressure, uh, uh, bioimpedance analysis, height, weight, etc. We collected blood and urine samples. Uh, we did biochemical analysis on, on those samples and also uh, genetic and epigenetic analysis on the blood samples. Um, oh, and we also had a qualitative Part, so where we did interviews and focus groups with diabetics and non-diabetics and obese and non-obese to ask what they perceive as causes of uh, diabetes and obesity. Um, I just want to show you some of the um, main results to highlight the extreme high burden of obesity and diabetes in this group. Uh, so these graphs on the left are men and on the right are women. And this is the, the burden of overweight and obesity, and this is the burden of diabetes. And as you see here, we heard before prevalences um, between 30 and 50% of obesity, depending on uh, the country. But among Ghanaian women resident in London, 90% has either overweight or obesity. Um, and even in, in rural Ghana, prevalence is already as high as 34%. Um, same as we see for, for diabetes. In some European countries, there's a prevalence of 15%. Uh, what's strikingly here as well is that uh, overweight and obesity prevalence is much higher in women, whereas diabetes prevalence is higher in men. So this is one of the paradoxes we're looking at. And also differences between the sites, where, whereas in London, there is more overweight and obesity than in Amsterdam. There's more uh, diabetes in Amsterdam than in London. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm very happy to be here because I look at that obesity from an epidemiological perspective and I really like this course for getting a more comprehensive overview um, of, that, of obesity. So thank you very much.